very good morning my dear student so today i will going to discuss about the database management system under the database management system the part that i am going to discuss that inserting a form and working with uh, working with the forms so how you can implement the form and how you can work with the forms so continuation of my previous video this the form what we can find it that i have designed the form that means i have added uh, the designing of the form and using the added the designing controls how can we design the controls of the form so there is a design control set okay there is a design control set restrictions on the field in your form so it will help you for what for the better control of the data and it will help you to enter the data into your sheet so when you are working on the database in the database you can find it that that particular database you need to do a different pattern of changes you need to do different pattern of modifications on it so in a form then how can you do so form has given one option to us what is that option in a form layout view there is uh, select a design tab okay in the form layout view you have to select a design tab under the design tab you will have a control group so this is the control group this particular thing is a control group so where it is under the form layout view under the design tab there is a what there is a control group so in this particular control group what you have you have a combo box the combo box means command box this particular combo box what is there you can find it that in this particular combo box what you can do you can add the particular uh, thing or you can and as i have circled it here you can see it that this particular combo box will help you to give uh, specifications of the words or specification of your word in this particular way okay so you can add it you can make this particular thing uh, viable with your word <coughs> So as you are uh, selecting the combo box, what you find is that particular selection desired location of the for the combo box. That means what is the location you require. Now uh, a line chart will appear and you can find it suppose here in the city. Okay, city field uh, to be added uh, to a mailing list. So how where it is added? It is added to a mailing list. So city field is added to the mailing list. So those city will again come in the mailing list. So how it has been done? See here. As soon as it has been combined, you see this particular section, isn't it? This is a combo box. What has been implemented in between them? So as the combo box is implemented in between them, based on this combo box, what you can do? You can work on this particular structure of the combo box, and you can make the combo box workable with your particular work that is available. Okay, or that the notes are available. See what we have here? We have here the different fields like uh, the email, the phone number, the city, the address of the list that is been created later but these three fields those three fields what we have we need to combine with this one add to what machine list what should be the machine list the list will be same so this particular section of the list has been taken this particular column of the list has been taken and it has been added with this mailing list okay this is how you can do the adding of the mailing list Now I will show you how to create a Microsoft Access form with the help of a wizard. Wizard, what do you mean by wizard? Wizard means a self-created form. The decision has already been taken, just you have to apply that decision. So this is what we find. Wizard gives what? The different pattern of controls. There are the different type of things that will be controlled by itself in a single click that means everything will be controlled by a machine you don't have any control at this particular moment okay to create the single time and uh, in a single table you want to use the form as a wizard then what you have to do first you have to go to the create option after you click on the create option or create tab there under that you will find a format group okay so as you click on the format group you can find it play, uh, format wizard or under the directly here there you can find the different patterns of what different patterns of microsoft form are available so which of the form you want to use now i am want to 
it to do with a wizard. Wizard means pre-formatted form. So what you'll do as soon as you select all this thing, you find the table or the query name will going to come here. So what from which table or which query you want to select? So that particular query or that particular table, you can select it from here. After selecting that particular table, there will be a list going to come. See here, the list came. Now after uh, that, what you will need to do? You need to highlight that particular position which you want to take. After that, there is a single arrow or multiple arrow. If you click on single arrow, only one will going to come. One field will going to come. If you press this multiple arrow, many will going to come. So this is what we can find it. This is what we can see it, that in each of these particular cases, when you are using <coughs> the Microsoft wizard with the form, so you can access the wizard with the help of a uh, particular thing. That means pre-formatted form will be created. So as I am saying that pre-formatted form will be created in this particular pre-formatted form what will be created what we find they are there at the table queries drop down list is there okay so when we are going to click the table query that means from the query also you can select an item you from the table also you can select an item. <coughs> So those are the fields what are available there, you can uh, download those fields and you can work with those fields. Now if you want to move a field including the format of the available field in the list, what you find is that you have to select the field. Okay, those are the fields you have to select and you have to uh, click on the double click on it. So you have to do the double click, as you do the double click, all the thing, all the thing of this area will move to this area. So this is how you can do or if you want any of this particular thing to be removed from here then you select it and you press on this button this particular button the thing will come in this original position from where it has gone okay <coughs> sorry so after you do this then what you will do you will click on the next Okay, so as you click on the next, you find it there are the different type of form layout will be available. You can select the different pattern of form layout. <coughs> After selecting the different pattern of form layout, you will click on the next. So this is how what we said that column in the tabular form in the data sheet that you can select the, each of these particular options in the preview and you can do the work based on that particular uh, process has been given to you. Now the form wizard, this way the form wizard will going to come to open a form from the view of enter or modify the form that you will select whichever you want uh, and whichever the things you want to do after that you will click on the finish button as you click on the finish button the form will be created. So in this particular form the form will be open in front of you and uh, opening the form into view the entire informations or modifying the form to design it. So this is how we can use the form and we can work with the form in a different way. So this is uh, the thing, this is the part that we can find that where you are utilizing the forms, how to utilize the particular form in our which phase in the design phase or in the wizard phase, in the wizard phase okay so as we are using the wizard phase now here another thing is there the title what title you want to give title that you want to give to your form so that you can write by your own or by default it will going to save it from the table or where you are working where you find that what is applicable okay so this is how you can find it that particular what is applicable and working on it what you are doing you are inserting the particular uh, information of the table or the queries based on which you can do the form. <clears throat> so this is the form what they, by default what you will find that uh, open the data format in a view, isn't it? So when you open the data format in a view, what you can find is that there uh, that are needed to be modified. Okay, there are the modifications options is also available. So if you create one thing that is mistake is there, but it uh, started working in a Gmail, then what you will do, you want to change it. So you will go for there and you can change it option.
Okay, so this is how we can find it that we can use the particular fact. So we can select the different type of form. All those different pattern of forms, what are there? They are the open the forms to view the entire information. So that what is about your information? That is also being shown, isn't it? So modifying the former uh, designer. There are the different pattern of designs are there and those the designer what we find it that we can use those designing fact. We can use those designing part to open in a different standard form. <clears throat> so you can see here that I have uh, done the particular thing and this is the output with the wizard. So as the output with the wizard, uh, every details what is there that will going to come here. There are these are the things what are the uh, field name and these are the values that has been given inside the field. And <clears throat> there you can see one thing I am circling here. This is your <coughs> sorry scrolling. Okay, that means to go to the next page. So if you click on here, uh, you will go to the next page. If you click on there, you will go to the previous page. Okay, so this is how you can find it that what uh, what you are doing <clears throat> and this is the particular thing that you are implementing with the wizard, form with the wizard. But basically what you will do, we will do the thing with the help of our design view. Okay, with the help of the design view, the thing will going to help to us and it will going to make the thing in a very structured format. Okay. So this is the particular form after you click on the finish button. Now here, if you want to bring this in a design view, design view if you want to do, then you can click on that particular design view, you can drag it and bring it in the design view and that can be implemented, okay. That can be worked with because see here the grids, the line, the background grids, the lines, everything what is there, they are replicating, they are what? They are the different student software. So those the different students are there. They are what you want to do. The field that you have entered. See here all the fields that you have entered. And for that field what are the blanks area that you are, have entered. Similarly here also you can find the same thing. And here also you can find the same thing. So all these things what are there. That will going to be taken as the particular major area based on which we can find this particular data will going to have its own political phase own dimensions own all the things should be as per what the thing has been written by or taken by the particular what structure isn't it so particular structure taken by particular structure means what there is a different format like query is there you can have a different query different type of reports so those the different type of reports or query whatever it is there they will going to have a formal structure isn't it so as soon as you are working you are calling them you are working with it so you will going to get a lot of benefits on this particular structure when we are having used the form but i am not going the details about how to make it without the form okay so this is the thing what we can find and we can do it thank you class so <clears throat> Thank you all. Uh, so I am ending up my uh, this video lecture here. Uh,